Morning folks, welcome along to the vlog. Just about to get all the tools in the back of the car. Ready to go over to Tom's bright and early this morning. Really looking forward to getting there as well because normally he does the most fantastic bacon butties in the morning. Oh, they are to die for. So yes, no breakfast. I'm gonna shoot straight over there. And uh, yeah, no worries. Tom will look after me this morning. Wonderful, wonderful bacon sandwich. Right, all the tools are in the car. Just remains for me to put the uh, camera in there. One thing I do love about going to Tom's though is definitely these bacon sandwiches that he does when we get there. You know, some of homemade bread. He makes his own bread. They're absolutely beautiful. And some of the nicest, nicest bacon that you've ever had. All locally grown on his own farm, believe it or not. Yeah, you don't know that about him, do you? Oh, just turn that off. Talking about Tom's beautiful bacon sandwiches at the moment. I'm really looking forward to them. Let's just see if the car wants to start this morning. First time, ladies and gentlemen. First time. Just a slight delay at the level crossing, not a massive problem. I'm sure Tom will keep my bacon sandwich nice and warm for me until I arrive. Just a couple of minutes waiting for some passenger trains to go by. Getting much closer now. Oh, you know what? I can almost smell. I can almost smell that bacon sandwich. We are literally about 15 minutes away, folks. Oh yes. Check out the shat nav. You recognise Tom's car? We've arrived, folks. We've arrived. Oh, so looking forward to that bacon sandwich. Mmm, crusty bread. Juicy bacon, crispy rind. Delicious. Hello. Hello. Arthur Whittling Whistle reporting for duty. <laughs> 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 hey, have you got the bacon sandwiches ready, buddy? Ready? Ready? Ready, you are. I'm so excited for them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're ready. Vegan. What? Vegan. Ah. Vegan, ba vegan bacon. Vegan bacon. What's your mushroom sandwich? Ah, I'll, I'll be back in a moment. I'm just going to get some <laughs> breakfast. <then. laughs> oh, what did I tell you, folks? What did I tell you? Anyway, what's oh, happened yeah. to the diet, buddy? Yeah, well, I've had pneumonia, so building yourself back up. Yeah. I've lost quite a bit of weight through coughing. Have you been circumcised as well? Yeah. <laughs> Set fire alarm off, mate. You don't have to do that on my VR. I've done cooking, but she's cooking hers now. You are still contagious, right? No, 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 fine. No. No. So what are we doing? I can't catch AIDS unless I put it in you. Well, maybe you will. You can't catch it twice, anyway. <laughs> Manufactured a plate, because it didn't come with one, for fixing uh, components to. Did that yesterday. Um, I re-drilled the... Uh, SSR mounts. Yeah, the, I re-drilled it. I've got self-tapping screws. Um, Do they show through top? Because mine used to. They're hidden. Ah, uh, yeah, front side. Yeah, they luckily they go through fins. Yeah. I don't know how I managed it, but I managed it. Obviously, skill, skill. Well, skill, skill. Uh, so they tighten up now, tight. Mm -hmm. They were like binding. They weren't. The hole weren't big enough. So I re-drilled them. Uh, what else did I do? Oh, I've put in the uh, 25 mil for the main power in. Yeah, for the main power in. And that's coming off of this beauty here. Yeah. Um, okay. Brought it along here. 
Yeah. And I thought I could have the box up in the top corner. Uh, they're up there, but I just remembered last night when I was drilling these, there's a cable comes up from here. Yeah. That runs along here to that socket down there. I can't remember. If it goes straight up. If it goes straight here. up or wherever. But I don't think it comes out to the side here. It's not, there's no cable in there. Okay. There's no cable in there. Okay. There's no cable in there. Okay. Okay, well, we're going to need more than this, this end. Yeah. I think so, yeah, because that's got to hit your buzz bars, hasn't it? Right. So looking at that, well, we'll see. We'll pinch an inch or two if we need to, and then whatever's left is where yeah. it's going to have to, it's yeah. going to have to live. So obviously we'll get cut all this off. Yeah. Have that somewhere here. Start it away. Mm-hmm. Don't need to be near there. No. You're not really going to use it, are you? It's just emergency, like if yeah. I want to work on panel. Yeah, because well, this it. is going to be live all the time, fermentation fridge, you see. Yeah. So I turn turn the panel on and off with the key. Mm -hmm. That's not going to turn off, and so's this. Yeah. Um, this, I've got me sending a bit of a thing with this. Because the. Um, You're going to have to spray it top again now, look. No, it's such work, mate. That's right, battle scars. <laughs> Piece of stainless on there. Yeah. That'd yeah. be nice. Fuck off. <laughs> so, because I've got the STC in there, yeah. I'm obviously running cooling and heating into the panel mm -hmm. to get it into there. I did the same for the keyser on this side. Yeah. Heating and cooling. Yeah. But the STC is down here. I'm oh, forgetting. So. You just need power running out of there, don't you? Right. Because so can they not just plug that in? Uh, that can be an independent unit, separate of... Because obviously there's no need for it to be controlled by a panel, is there? No, I just thought... We could just... If we worked a plug on it... It'd be less... Well, it's up to you. Do you use plugs often? I don't know. Where, wherever you want, I can do either way, like. Well, I do... Yeah, I've got fun fans for that running and fans for this right running what separately to they're not running off a of power for this then the fans yeah no how come because i didn't all right because i'll I'm... not ask so that's how i'm doing it right <laughs> son of a bitch no, i never thought mate yeah, because you've got a live feed coming in to keep the display on, whether it, whether the yeah. cooler's on or not anyway. Yeah. So you just need to spur off of that for yeah. fans. Oh, that will do. And then it's just on one plug yeah. for everything. Do that then. It's easy yeah. enough done. If we've got spare... Um, Clever person. What they're called? Terminal blocks. Chuck, chucky blocks. Chucky blocks, yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, let's make a start then. Have a slurp of the old quaffy. Uh, what else did I do? Now really we've got the uh, we've got the paste for the solid state. Yep. Couldn't get that in really without it looking daft for the fan. Yeah, because it's in the wrong spot, isn't it? So it was only a like you say, you don't need it, do you? No. You're gonna hit the fan if it's running. Right, I've got hundred of them. More than enough. You've got tie wraps. Yeah, two hundred of them. Yeah. The bottom here, look. Um, SSRs, under here. Nobody gets to see under here, look. No, Behind the screens. It's a mess at the minute. This it is all that bad, mate. Soldered in for the uh, thingy majigs. The what do you call it? We've got the. Uh, Relays, relays. I'm not getting all that because you'll end up with no room on there. Um, and we need to check that bad 24 line. volts, 6 amp. Yeah, so should be more than enough to so just run relays. They're going to be pulling milliamps. Yeah, because we were wondering whether that would. Yeah. Things that keep dropping out of this. So. It'll be just bits of uh, components. That wire ones. <laughs> the insulation from when we clipped all the stuff. So. Let me go and get my coffee. Yeah, we'll make a start and we'll, we'll come back with the footage when we've uh, 
one we've made a dint in till there. Um, oh, look at that now. Well, I'll only put it on there just to see what it looks like. Yeah. But I will get probably a smaller one for there. It looks good, doesn't it? No, it does look good, doesn't it? But, like you say, it'll be good to have one on the uh, inlet to the... Yeah, to, to the, the uh, plate, plate chiller. So you can see what's actually going through the plate chiller. Where are you going to mount your plate chiller? This is it. See, I, I'm going to strap mine to leg at stand. Well, just like well, basically to. metal tie wrap it. Yeah, I might have to do the same. And vertical, so when I drain it, then the they both will drain out fully. Yeah. I'm going to have to do the same. Uh, but then, if I mount it here, then I've got to have my uh, filter on it somewhere. Yeah. Which I suppose well, could come across. I don't know. It depends. You are limited a bit for space, aren't you? You yeah. see. See if we'd have got that house. Yeah. It had a massive whack off crap garage, but it fell through, didn't it, sir? So. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, let's crack on. Yeah. Right. Whoa. So hey up. Palty guys. So what I think we're going to tackle first is we'll get all the. Um, hardware mounted to the back panel in here and then decide what we want to start routing first, what wants to be high side on the voltage, what wants to be low side on the voltage yeah. and then uh, and then start sort of wiring things up as we come across it but we need to get like everything in first so we don't we don't bypass or miss out so that is uh, that is stage one, if you like. But don't worry, I'm not going to film it all. We'll come back when we get a bit closer. Quick update on the build. Tom's struggling to get these wires soldered on, but he's just in time for a fun, factful, fact a rumour. Did you know that Dean Gaffney has got a 12 inch penis? Wow, wow. Didn't seem that big. No, oh, well, apparently it can reach the bottom of a pint glass. <laughs> we're talking one of those really long strongbow pint glasses. Anyway, that's boot. This is how far we've got. Pretty much everything on the door side of the panel is wired up, apart from the key start and the STC. We've got cables into the solid state relays, and we're just about to start running cables down to the 16 amp industrial sockets. The only drawback is we don't have any earth cables, so what we're going to do is put this uh, neutral, this blue cable in place and then just stick some earth sheathing on it when we get some of the dart. But it's going well, folks. Now let's enjoy a little bit more of Tom's swearing. Fucking thing. Bastard. Going well, mate. Oh. Got you. Until it comes off. Not oh, come off, mate. You ready? Yeah. I did lift test. Pull it. La la la. <sighs> Anyone would think that was difficult to do. Well done, bud. I've just got to do it with the side. Again. Yeah, and there's another eight more. I know. It's only half two. He's had one job all day. Put it back on wall. 20 minutes in we are. Yeah. He's struggling here. Well, someone's filled it with wires and stuff. Must have been that pigeon, mate. It's nested again. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did you learn that drilling technique at your martial arts class? <laughs> <laughs> what are you on about? Look at that. Oh, it's looking promising now, mate. Solid as a rock. <gasps> What's in your pocket, Angelos? <laughs> What's in your pocket? <laughs> I had to think then, what have I left? Well, would you look at her, folks? I think that's pretty neat for a novice. Hey, look at that. <laughs> She's about ready for launch, I think. Yeah. Hey. But Gatso Golden Ale. Oh, what we're going with? First one. It didn't oh. like these, was it? 
We could have a uh, Bart Simpson blonde. It's look a bit like Bart Simpson, doesn't it? Or Bender. Wrong colour for Bender, isn't it? Grey Bender, isn't it? Grey Bender. <laughs> Grey Bender, you've got a what? <laughs> anyway, it's coming on. It's coming on. Coming off. <laughs> well, we are on day three, though, so, uh, <laughs> you know, not too bad, not too shabby. No explosions. No explosions and no sparks. No firm fridge. No firm fridge. Or, uh, is that one on? I got worried about nothing, buddy. It was the main breaker. Fire up the camaraderie. <laughs> Aye. The armada of camaraders. <laughs> hey, if we do that, it's like the cameras are making love. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're all done. Let's have a look inside. The power's on. I wouldn't open it if I were you. Fermentation fridge is on, but nothing else. Yeah, I see. So inside. This is when our cables come off. Yeah. We're all nice and tidy. I'll uh, I'll do a bit of up closey bit at the end. But all nice and tidy. Everything's where it should be. And uh, well, that's it. Let's get it turned on. You ready for the big, Bang. the big switch on? It's like Blackpool Illuminations. Are you ready, fellas? We're on. We are. It says oral look as well. And in ten seconds, we're going to have a fanfare. Yes. You got it turned off, mate. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Poffic. Yeah, so we've got the STC probe in as well for the beer fridge, haven't we? So that's yeah. why that's reading correctly, the firm yeah. fridge. Um, I guess they could... Uh, well, these have got to be sorted out, but once these go in... Yeah, well, you could you thing. could temporarily put them in. We've got to find out whether or not they were wired up right way around, aren't they? And if you want to find out if they work, then you've got to go to Tom's channel. Yeah. We are fully operational. I'm spoiling your video now, mate, because I'm sure you'll do one when I've gone. Uh, sign out. But I'm gonna shoot, buddy. Yeah, thanks, mate. It's been a pleasure. Been a long day, though, hasn't it? No, uh... And uh, well, enjoy, enjoy the panel, mate. Ready to brew now. Spot on. Ready to brew. <laughs> Pans on now. Look, got a got my own little switch for fan. It's the only fan you've got, mate. <laughs> <laughs> right. Anyway, ciao. Ciao for then. now. Ciao. Well, we're all done, folks. We are home, and uh, well, what a great day. What an absolutely fantastic day I've had today at Tom's. I've really enjoyed it, wiring up his control panel. I tell you what, it's been pretty good practice for uh, doing mine over the next couple of weeks, and uh, we managed to find a few little hiccups in the, uh, the, you know, the devil in the detail, particularly with the timer. I'm sure you'll see more about it on Tom's video that he's got to accompany this one that I'm releasing today. But uh, yeah, when we set off this morning, the bacon sandwich thing was meant to be a gag. And when I got there, there wasn't going to be any bacon sandwich. Lo and behold, bless his little Veruca socks. He actually had bacon on the go. I couldn't believe it personally. Didn't give me any though. So uh, now we're back home, uh, it is late, it's actually half past nine, so I've put in a 12 hour shift there, you know. And uh, I think what I'm gonna do is sit down, edit this video and relax with a Grizzly Port Brewing Company from Canmore, Alberta, Lemon Shandy. It's only 3% ABV, but this was kindly supplied to me by Pete Jarvis, who is one of the brewers there. So check that bad boy out. I've never had a beer like this before, but uh, I'm really, really looking forward to cracking into it. So, of course, I'll do it on camera for you guys. 
Let me grab a glass. Oh, look what we've got. An old Idle Valley tap glass, eh? Little bit of heritage there. It's not the same place it was. So let's... It smells... Not what I expected. It smells like bitter lemon. I was expecting really like lemon hooch lemon. So let's get this in the gilas and let's have a slurp. Up your bum, folks. Yes, that is spot on. Oh God, that's, I'm going to have to come back for another can of something else because this ain't going to last two minutes, folks, quite frankly. Anyway, I'm not going to waffle on anymore. Thanks for tuning in yet again to the vlog. Tomorrow, hopefully, um, if we can, we're going to continue with the brew stand build. If not, you'll see by the title of the video that it's just going to be a standard vlog day. But I'd like to get that finished off if possible. We do have beers to come out of tanks and we do have a brew or six to do next week. So don't forget to hit that sub button and the bell notification is extremely important if you want to be notified when I release a new video. Otherwise you're just gonna have to come to the channel and search for it every time you want it. YouTube are changing their algorithms a little bit. We've all just been introduced to a brand new back office or create a studio. They like to do this every few years and confuse everybody. Not that we haven't got enough on our plate trying to make videos for you fantastic viewers out there. Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you on the next one.